What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you haven't liked, share, subscribe, go ahead and do so. And don't forget to click the notification bell. I got something to tell y'all. Come on, y'all got to hear this. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, D-Way. Of course, you already know that. Today's lesson is we're gonna take this truck and we're gonna keep trucking today, but I'm gonna go over a few things with you guys right now. I went to sleep last night and I went to sleep thinking. And so when I went to sleep thinking, I was thinking more of you guys and then more of y'all cheer me up and cheer me up. And then I was kind of like, you know, smiling, laughing, you know, the comments y'all be talking about. And I sure appreciate y'all, you know, for sticking with me, you know, from beginning to on up to now. So what's gonna happen is I figured out what am I doing wrong. So, okay, first of all, I'm splitting my blogs up two different, two different ways or whatever. So I was trying to figure out how I can vlog every day or uh, get the blogs out there. So every morning, we're gonna do, I'm not gonna vlog the whole thing. So it's gonna pick up and drop off and then stop the video right there and then until I get here. And then I'm gonna do some work over so here. like that. So, and I'm doing just truck vlogs all day long and all like that. And then I send it off and then until I get now, here. So I figured it out. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just drive a truck in the morning and then get here and then vlog some more and do some work. So that's what that's what's what's going on right now. So um, that's what I'm gonna do right now, from here on out. So that's that will get me to do uh, vlogs every day. So I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to get that off every day. But uh, so anyway, so now we already got I already took pictures of this yesterday, and I already done sent it to the insurance company. So they already so got, we got that out the way. So the radiator, the radiator for this one right here. It's already sent off, so I'm waiting on it to get back away. So later on today, we're gonna check this 81 out and see what's going on with it. Since I already, I think I already know what's wrong with it. So if I can't figure that out, then we're just gonna go ahead and go to uh, John Deere and have them come out and look at it. Now as far as the 86, I'm gonna pick that up and I'm gonna move it today. We're gonna go and pick this disc up over here. So let's stop talking, let's get to work. The money is time, time is money, or uh, whatever you call it. <laughs> let's go. Later. just to keep the vlogs going and I'm gonna try to vlog every day because I got a lot to do I got a lot of stuff to, to show for and uh, my arm getting tired so uh, we just gonna sit here and wait in line y'all disregard uh, how I'm talking right now because I'm just not waking up and I'm, I'm trying to cheer up a little bit more which is I am and uh, Let's just wait till we get out of this line, and then I'll vlog some more, and then when I get, get done leaving here to down there, I'm gonna get probably about three runs, and then we're gonna go to the shop, and then we're gonna, we're gonna start working on something. We're gonna start moving tractors around, and, and like I said, we're gonna start uh, figuring out what's going on with this 81, because I'm sick and tired of it not starting, because I'm gonna need it here after a while, because I got a hook to the grain cart, after a while, and I gotta start servicing it and see, what, see what's wrong with it, which it ain't nothing wrong with it, but you know what I mean. We just, you know, just servicing stuff, getting everything ready for harvest. So, all right then. Meanwhile. All right, y'all. Right now, I done got loaded, so I'm headed to South Fulton. So when I get to South Fulton, I'm gonna unload this, then I'm gonna go back and get two more. After that, we're going to the shop. We're going to start doing some work over there. So I'll see you on the other side.
Y'all hook. Y'all hook. Don't say nothing. <laughs> boy, boy, boy. Alright, let's go to the shop. I was later. Alright. Now I'm back here on the ground, so I need to do a little office work uh, for my insurance company, and they need something for the trailer, so I need to go ahead and uh, upload these pictures, and then I got other stuff to do, and then I got to uh, look up, uh, it's a website that somebody gave me on here, I forgot what it is, I have to go back and look, look at it, so... <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and do this office work right fast and then we're gonna go back outside and then um uh, move the 86 around hook hook it to the disc and then we're gonna go to the 81 we're gonna focus on that so give me a minute and i'll get right back with you meanwhile all right so now i got done doing what i need to do so right now i'm gonna hook the 86 to this right here pull it out uh, there's a cutter up there that needs working on i'm gonna unfold it and uh you try to get that 81 to crank but let me get this 86 let me get this going first and let me get it unfolded that way i have it ready to be worked on so let me go ahead and get that out of the way let's do that mm. Check the oil in this 86. Matter of fact, even though I checked the oil on the engine, you want to look at it. Never let me fail. Never let me die. Never ever let me die. I know about that back end. I don't, that's, that's full. Let me get a couple primes. Cans of free on it here. Yeah. All right, let's get back at it, baby. I need you. Go start. Let's get over here, move this truck out of the way. Actually, I can go around it.
because now now we got the tractor park so we're gonna pull the service truck over there and we're just gonna start mapping stuff out and getting it ready start working on it uh, since the trailer is already down what else can i do just start working on stuff all right let's rehearse what we got in mind all right you see here i got some gains loose so i need to tighten them up then on top of that i need to put a tie on here because it is blowed out yeah, that's the one i just put on no it wasn't brand new now so uh, that's pretty much it we just grease it that's pretty much it we just grease it but right now we're gonna see what we can do with the the gains Yeah. See what we can do with that. So let me let me get some let me get some wrenches and see if I can figure something out. Kind of problem with kind of problem we got here. Uh, you look at this right here. You see it wore out right here. So that's why this this right here was flopping. So I'm gonna have to get another whole another another shade. So we'll run the case I H for that. Till then we'll take that towel. Then while we at case I H, then while we at case I H, we'll go and get another. Go get another tie made. Since I ain't driving tomorrow, so all is well. All right. So now we got the 86 part right here. Got the dish right here. Got the bolts off. So now I know what to go and get. So uh, I'm take that towel. So as of right now, since I got this here, I'm far right here. Now let's go to the 81 and. Let's see if we can get that crank. I'm gonna try to jump it out first. Oh, I didn't know my battery's going dead. All right, we got the truck hooked up to the tractor. Everything directly to the starter. I'm gonna get up here and see if she'll crank. Come on, baby. Okay, I think I figured it out. I guess the battery is getting... Okay, if the battery... All right, let, no, I'm not figuring it out. I'm trying to figure it out. So let me ask y'all a question. So if the tractor turns on its own and it's, and it's trying to crank, but you know the batteries ain't dead, but it ain't cranking, but if you put the cables to it to get it that fast whirl, it'll crank so what does that mean does that mean when the batteries are weak and not getting enough voltage to the solenoid to the fuel switch does that make sense hmm that's kind of like what i want to say low voltage but let me show you what, what's showing that's what's here. showing but if i hold code well no not hold code so that's what it read, 52, whatever that is, code 52. But if I hold code for 10 seconds, then the light goes out, the code clears. See? 
but I'm still showing 52. I don't know what that is. Computerized tractors and all like that. I tell you what, let me. I forgot what I was going to do. Well, since I'm in it, I might as well bush hog all that right there. Since I'm since I'm already in the tractor, I might as well just uh, do something. So let's let's get busy. Okay, y'all. That was progressive insurance. Uh, so I'm gonna have to vlog right now, and I'm just going to be continue this on to another day. So be sure to like, share, subscribe to the YouTube channel, click the notification bell, and I try to get y'all some content. So tomorrow I will not be in a truck. I will be back out here working on stuff. So like I said, y'all be sure to like, share, subscribe to the YouTube channel, click the notification bell. If you have any questions, click down in the link below comment as well i'm gonna comment back so all right let me handle this business and it's it's interfering my vlogging so so i'll to be continue this on to tomorrow